Let's answer question from random followers dito sa YouTube mismo. Ang comment niya, ang I mean, ang question niya dito sa comment section sa YouTube natin. Uh, galing ito kay Igor Car Igor Carvalho Brea. Brea. Could you help me with this problem? I really need your help. Ang tanong, ang um, given, Antonio is as old as the combined ages of his two brothers, Bendito and Cristiano. But Cristiano is two years older than Bendito. The combined ages of the three last year, dapat walang esto last year, was three-fourths the combined ages at the present. How old is Bendito now? Uh, basahin natin ulit ha. Antonio is as old as the combined ages of her two brothers, Benedicto and Cristiano. But, Cristiano is two years older than, but sinabi ko Benedicto? Bendito pala. The combined age of the three, Last year was three-fourths of their combined ages at present. How old is Bendito now? Isa-isahin natin. So, let A for the edad of Antonio, B for bin ben dito, C for Cristiano. Antonio is as old as the combined ages of her two brothers, Bendito and Cristiano. That is, A for Antonio is as old as the combined ages. So, i-add mo yung si Benedicto at si Cristiano. B plus C. So, A equals B plus C. Next. Cristiano is, so si Cristiano. C is two years uh, older than Bendito. So, two years older than Bendito. Si Bendito, edad ni Bendito, plus two. The combined age of three last year, okay? Of three last year, si A plus B plus C last year. Combined age, last year, so tatlo sila. Kung last year, tatlong taon ang i-minus natin. Kasi yung last year, tatlo man sila. Yung isa, minusan mo ng one year. Yung isa, minusan mo rin ng one year. Yung isa, minusan mo ng one year. Kaya minus three. So last year was, that is equal yan siya, three-fourth, okay, three-fourth of their combined ages at present. So, three-fourths of A plus B plus C. Ang question is, how old is Benedicto now? Ito na yung equation natin. Yan na yung magandang equation natin sa problem na ito. Ang next natin gawin ay gawan natin ng paraan na pariho lang yung mga variables nila. Meron na tayong equivalent ni C. Si C ay is equals to B plus 2. So, ang gagawin natin itong B plus C, si C ay gawin natin itong B plus 2. Okay? So, kopyahin si B plus. Instead na C, ang gawin natin ay B plus 2. Kasi yan yung equivalent ni C. Ngayon, itong si A, instead na A ang ilagay natin, since si A is equals to B plus C or B plus B plus 2, si A ba? Yan yung equal niya. I-multiply mo na lang yan ng 2. Sulat ko ha para maintindihan nyo. A is equals to B plus C. Itong si C, B plus 2 yan. Okay. Si A is equals nito. So, instead na isulat natin si B plus B plus itong 2B plus another B plus B plus 2B, pariho lang naman yan, i-multiply mo na lang siya ng 2. Okay? Kasi nga, di ba, si A ay equals nito. So, equal mo lang ng 2. Combined ages. 
So, ito na yun. Yung tatlo. Last year. And then, yan din ang gagawin natin dito sa kabila. Okay? This is equals to 3, 4. Then, itong nasa loob ng parenthesis. Instead na A plus B plus C, ito din ang gagawin natin. Itong lahat na 2 tapos B plus B plus 2. Okay? Tapos il, uh, ilagay natin sa loob ng parenthesis. Ngayon, masolve na natin ito. Okay? Ito muna i-add natin. B at saka isang B. Kasi mga like terms yan. So, maging 2B na to. Sulat so, muna natin si 2B. At ganun din dito sa kabila. B plus B equals 2B. So, this is 2B. Then, 2 times 2B, this is 4B. 2 times 2 equals 4 minus 3. Then, nandito pa rin si 3 fourth. 2 times 2, pariho lang naman yan, that is 4B plus 4. Itong 3 fourth na ito, si 3 na lang ang matitira dyan, at i-transfer mo si 4 dito, pang multiply na siya sa kabila. Okay? Bakit mo tina-transfer si 4 sa kabila, ma'am? Kasi denominator siya or pang-divide siya kapag tina-transfer mo sa kabila, magiging pang-multiply na siya. Unahin muna natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. 4 minus 3. And the answer here is 1. So, sulatan muna natin ng 1. Okay? Yung parenthesis natin. Now, mag-multiply na tayo. 4 times 4B, this is 16B. 4 times 1, that is 4. Sa kabila, four, uh, 3 times 4B, this is 12B. 3 times 4, and that is 12. Ipagsama natin ang mga like terms. 16B minus 12B. Since itong si 12B, pang-add siya. So, kung transpose mo siya, pang-minus na siya. Then, Itong si 4 plus 4, kapag i-transpose mo siya sa kabila, maging minus 4. 16B minus 12B, and that is 4B. 12 minus 4, and that is 8. So, therefore, 4B is equals to 8. Para ma-isolate si B dito, Ay, itong si 4, since pang multiply siya sa B, pang divide siya sa 8. So, B is equals to 8 divided by 4, and that is 2. So, ang sagot dito ay 2. Now, let's double check. Meron na tayong edad ni Bin dito, at yun yung tanong. Nasagot na natin yung tanong. Ang gagawin na lang natin ay mag-double checking. So, 2 years old si Bin dito. Then, dito tayo sa uh, given. Antonio is as old as the combined ages of Bindito and Cristiano. Ngayon, si Cristiano is 2 years older than Bindito. B plus 2. So, 2 years older, that means 2 plus 2. So, 4 years old. Si Cristiano. Ngayon, i-combine mo si B plus C. And that is equal sa edad ni Antonio. Ang B natin ay 2. Si Cristiano ay 4, so therefore si Antonio ay 6 years old. So ngayon, i-delete natin ito. Tapos ilagay natin yung mga value nila dito. Kasi nag-double checking tayo. A plus B plus C. So this is 6, 2, 4. Yan, i-add natin yan siya. Minus 3, tapos 3 4, 6 plus 2 plus 4. 6 plus 2 plus 4, and this is 12, minus 3. Then, 3 fourth dito, this is 12. 12 minus 3, this is 9. 3 fourth of 12, that is 9. Pwede ganito, 12 divided by 4, and that is 3. So, 3 times 3 equals 9. Or, 12 times 3, and that is 
36. 36 divided by 4, that is 9. So, therefore, ang sagot natin na 2 ay tama. If you have any questions or whatever you want to say, just comment down below. Or you may come to our FB group, Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Pwede kayong mag-post doon. At marami tayong mga members na haping sagutan yung mga tanong nyo. Thank you for watching.